Evitts Creek Hiker Biker Campsite. Located at mile marker 180, this is a really convenient location. You are four and a half miles from the end or the beginning, depending on your point of view, of the CNO Trail in Cumberland. You're close enough that if you want to set up camp and feel confident enough that you can leave your stuff behind and bike unloaded into town, get dinner and come back, you can do it. I've done it. The uh, site itself is really flat and nice. It's not huge. It's one of the smaller ones, um, but it is perfectly adequate. Here's the downside. You are really, really close to civilization. And as a result, you're, you're gonna find is you're gonna get a lot of folks who are locals who will take advantage of the fact that there is an awesome riverside free campground that they just have to walk a short way in after driving in to a fairly close parking lot and too far down the path. That ends up meaning that while it's empty during the daytime, it fills up, especially on weekend nights, pretty fully. Um, so if your travel plans are here and you wanted to visit Cumberland on a weekend, very likely you're going to have a lot of people who are going to be in camp at night, at least in my experience. Um, the other downside, and that may not be a downside for some of you. Some, some folks like to hang out with lots of people, and that's good. Uh, P.S. There's only one uh, bench for the entire place, so it's a lot of sharing that goes on. The big downside for this very well-located, very nice campground is you've got the watered uh, canal a, st a stone's throw away from the camp, so you're going to have some bugs. But worse, right on the other side of that, so we're talking maybe 50 yards from the campsite itself, is a CSX rail line, and it can get really, really noisy. Too noisy, in fact. Um, even with earplugs, this can be a really difficult place to sleep. If you can sleep through really loud things, this may be the best place for you. One other thing that I'll note, on the other side of the river, which is very narrow at this point, and you look at it and you feel like you could swim across it, it's super narrow, is uh, farmland. And in my experience, there is a water pump that will start in the ungodly hours in the morning to take Potomac River water to, I presume, irrigate the crops. Um, it is as noisy and as annoying as the trains. Evitts Creek, hiker-biker campsite.